Exit Room Executives. This is Dion Huey here, the host of the Multifamily Investor Situation Room podcast. And today we are going to talk about briefly how to calculate a loan, calculate a loan payment in 30 seconds or less. I've been uh, seeing in a few Facebook uh, groups as well as on uh, LinkedIn and other forums um, that uh, people just asking questions about loan calculators, um, you know, calculating uh, loan payments in Excel. And uh, there's a really quick and easy way to do it if you wanted to do a back of the envelope calculation. Um, and uh, you can do it uh, really quickly with a financial calculator if you have one, or I'm gonna show you how to do it with a free app that you can download if you have an iPhone or an iPad. All right, so, but before we get started here today, um, I just want to remind you guys, uh, for those of you that are listening in for the first time, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the like button down below and subscribe. Also, you can find us in our in Facebook, join our Facebook deal group where you can network with other like-minded individuals, uh, learn, share uh, in your experiences. Um, you can also find a mentor in there as well, partner with people, and just overall get more deals done. Um, also, uh, definitely check me out on uh, Instagram, and I highly suggest that you add me on uh, LinkedIn as well. Finally, uh, make sure that you tune in to the Multifamily Investor Situation Room podcast. You can find us on iTunes as well as on uh, Podbean. And join our mailing list at www.multifamilyinvestorsituationroom.com. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So our first situation, what is your monthly debt service for a 30-year amortizing loan with a principal balance of $5 million at 4%? Well, let me show you first one of the first things that you can do. So if you have an iPad or an iPhone, you can download the following app. So first of all, uh, it's easiest to do this on a financial calculator you could use a you could use a regular calculator uh, if you wanted but then you have to memorize a bunch of formulas and it could just be a little bit more uh, problematic so it's much easier to use a financial calculator so you can use the uh, Texas Instru instruments uh, financial calculator so we could pull up the BA calculator. So we're going to pull up the BA calculator here. All right. Now, a couple of things I want to point out to everyone. So first, I want you to look down here at the bottom left-hand corner. This is the clear button. Uh, so this is one that we're typically, you could use uh, clear. We also have N here. This represents the uh, period. So the term of this loan is for 30 years or because it's a monthly payment that we're making, so it's going to be 30 times uh, 12 or 360 months, the interest is going to be 4%, uh, but that's going to be 4% divided by 12, uh, 12 months. And we also have the present value of the loan in this case is going to be $5 million. And we are looking for the payment, so this is what we're solving for. And then the future value of this loan is going to be zero. And then finally, uh, we need to use this button here, which is the compute, the CPT, um, because we're going to use this. And then uh, in a second, we're going to click PMT, and that's going to help us calculate the payment. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're just going to go from left to right. All right, and it doesn't matter what order you go in. You can go in any order. So let's start with uh, the number or the period, number of payments. So 360, 360, N, 
uh, the interest rate. So the interest rate, uh, if you didn't want to do the math in your head, you could just uh, use the parentheses. So open parentheses, 4% four, uh, 4 divided by 12, close parentheses, interest rate, and then the present value is 5 million. And then we need to put a negative sign there, present value. Uh, then the future value is going to be zero. And then now all we have to do is hit CPT and PMT. And then we can see here that the monthly payment for this uh, loan is going to be $23,870,076. Now that we know the answer to situation one, let's take a look at situation two. What is the principal balance on the loan that needs to be paid off at the end of five years if you decided to dispose of the asset? So how can we go about finding out this answer? Well, we could use our cal calculator to perform a simple calculation. Let me show you. So now that we have pulled up our financial calculator again on our iPad or iPhone, uh, then you'll you remember that we uh, in situation one we calculated this monthly uh, loan repayment right so all we need to do is we can we're still going to use those same buttons that we used uh, earlier and we're we don't need first things first do not clear out this number because we're going to use it again so all we need to do is just click payment again okay so that's going to input that payment number because we need to know we, we need to use that so payment we're going to use this to calculate the future value so payment then we are going to type in five million the present value which is the uh, present value of the loan today then the interest rate which is going to be four divided by 12 close brackets interest and then now for this one remember it's after five years okay we're not we're not taking this out the entire 360 months so what we can do is open brackets five years times 12 months close brackets that's 60 months and then CPT future value or FV and that tells us the principal balance or the balance due on the loan at the end of five years is four million five hundred and twenty two thousand three hundred and seventy five dollars all right now looking at our last and final situation so situation three how much equity buildup did your investment achieve during the holding period? So for those of you that are pretty savvy, I'm pretty sure that you already have an answer to this one. It's quite simple. So the last number that we just came up with, the $4,522,375 is basically the payoff amount for this loan at the end of uh, five years because our holding period is five years, right? So all we have to do is take our original or starting uh, principal balance, which is $5 million, and subtract that by the $4.5 million, and that'll give us an, our answer. So it's roughly about $500,000. So uh, if we were to actually calculate that out on our calculator, we would, you should come up with an answer of $477,624 for the equity buildup. I hope you all enjoyed this, and uh, again, make sure that uh, if you did, you smash that like button down below here on YouTube. Make sure that you head over to our Facebook group and join our group network. Uh, definitely uh, uh, get out there and, and meet the people in our group. I've seen a lot of engagement lately and uh, people introducing each other to uh, deals all over the country. So. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of uh, tremendous value in there, lots of ideas being shared. Also, make sure that you subscribe to our podcast in iTunes and uh, join our mailing list on multifamilyinvestorsituationroom.com. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys here in future episodes.